Five years ago, I built this house. February of that year, I was sitting in my living room, uh, retired, uh, bored, watching Oprah. And a great big black ant walked across my brand new wood house floor. And I'm going, that's it. Because I was heating with wood, I was burning wood in the house. Um, so I said, there has to be a better way. So I started researching always asking for an outdoor unit because of the gasification but also wanted to be that I could locate it indoors. Profab in the meantime had been designing the Pro Series, got one and burnt it to, for an entire, well for about a year and a half now. I have a, a great deal of experience with it and have had tremendous success and found that there was about a 25 percent reduction in my fuel consumption uh, and about a 30 percent increase in my uh, loading duration so I was very very happy with it so that's the story on how I got into into these it's uh, coming out of retirement and uh, just love burning wood the unit that I have in my house I have a, a Pro 200 located a hundred feet away in my detached garage I have then run a 100 feet of PEX piping under the ground to the, into the house my furnace fan never shuts off and doing it in this system I'm able to heat my house with a low speed fan operation and keeping my house within one degree of Fahrenheit at all times. This is installed in a, in a uh, 1600 square foot workshop with a 200 square foot tack room attached uh, on a 10 foot ceiling, it's relatively well insulated but I'm maintaining this uh, for the last six weeks on an armload of wood per day. In six weeks, I've only burnt that much. It's uh, two gallons of ashes is all the unit has produced. It's a two to three minute process uh, every time you go to the stove. I'm going to come up to the stove, and I haven't done this in a day or so, so I'm going to check it to see whether I need to take a bit of ashes out. So that's about all the ashes that I take out of this stove on a day basis. That pail there is six weeks of burning with this stove on this fuel load. If I only put in the amount of wood that I want in here that I know will get me in the next 10 to 12 hours. In colder weather you can plug in as much wood as you can possibly get in the unit and it's going to only burn off the fuel that's required out of that wood. It's going to turn the rest of the wood to charcoal and it will lay dormant until you need heat again. Then the blower will come on reigniting that charcoal and burning more fuel off. That's efficiency. Uh, there's, you will not see anything coming out of the chimney. On a cold day at this level, all you'll see is water vapor. I have no problem maintaining this unit running constantly um, throughout the entire heating season on just the heat stored in the refactory. I do not need a propane to relight this. I don't need propane to improve the efficiency to burn clean. It's hard to believe that I'm standing here that this unit is burning right now. With, there's nothing coming out of the stack. This unit has been designed to burn cordwood, uh, normal firewood. I have had tremendous success in, in burning smaller diameters, uh, limb wood, uh, slab wood, uh, even lumber. I can put it in this is because I'm controlling that low, that door is only a hopper. I'm only putting fuel in there and I'm only burning it when I want to. So I can be burning small, as you saw with this wood, I'm only burning small pieces of wood in here and getting no smoke. So yeah, you can burn a lot. I, uh, there is potential to do more with gasification. Uh, the reason that I burn my limb wood and, and small branches and stuff is it's, it's free fuel. Uh, I don't feel that I'm impacting the environment in any way, shape or form, maybe even to a negative. Because that wood, is, if it falls on the floor in the forest, is rotting and releasing carbon dioxide. I'm burning it in here, I'm releasing carbon dioxide, but when I kill, uh, uh, clean up uh, dead wood and, and, uh, and, ma and, and manage my forest, I'm creating new growth, so I'm probably having more foliage now than if I let that forest just uh, stay mature. So I, I believe that we're in a negative impact. The advantage that I found, I, going back to the, uh, my problems with heating with the, uh, uh, with the fireplace or the wood stove, I have a phenomenal wood stove. But the disadvantages were insects, dirt, making five trips a day carrying wood 
from my garage into the house in recycling boxes, uh, having to get up at 4 or 5 o'clock in the morning to restock, temperature modulating all over the place. Um, it was just was not giving me comfort. And uh, comfort for me is uh, having an inexpensive fuel source and being able to maintain my house at a constant uh, temperature. With the ProFab units with these gasification boilers, I can set my unit external from the house, so there's no threat of fire, there's no dust, there's no dirt, there's no bugs. The wood I don't have to carry, I spend a fraction of time because I only have to go twice out to my stove to load it rather than carrying five loads into the house. Uh, the other huge advantage uh, uh, that I find is that I can keep my house at a constant, uh, at a constant temperature. Um, that's a huge issue for me. When I'm heating a, a 5,200 square foot post and beam house on uh, five, six cores of firewood a year, a thousand dollars worth of firewood to buy, here I do it, it costs me nothing because it's my own. I can't beat it.